And here in Central Texas, it will be an emotional morning for some Waco families. With these tense moments fresh in their minds, parents anxiously waiting to reunite with their kids after an active shooter threat. Well, classes are expected to resume as normal today in Waco and in Houston following a similar threat at Heights High School. Turns out both appear to have been a hoax. But after the mass shooting in Uvalde, police are taking every threat serious. Well, Meredith Haas is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Good morning to you, Meredith. Scary moments for these families. Good morning, Jasmine. This scare in Waco and another in Houston has to make parents wonder what is going on? We do know Waco PD is looking into whether the two cases are connected. After an incident like this and in the wake of Uvalde, some parents and students are on edge. I got scared. I ain't gonna lie. I was scared. I'm not coming to school tomorrow. Why not? Uh, I, I don't feel safe. We can't do anything to protect our children and we're supposed to be sending them to school to get an education, but we can't trust that they'll even come home from that safely. Students did get home safely and the district wants to ensure that every student will be safe moving forward. If this were to ever be a real situation, an expert I spoke, at, I spoke with reassures everyone that districts in our area receive real world training. These districts routinely have um, drills of all kinds so that the staff is trained, they know exactly how to. Waco PD also made sure to let everyone know that the district has measures in place to keep everyone safe, whether this is a situation, a real situation or a hoax. We don't know where or who made the false call, but six news will make sure to keep you updated. But the most important thing is that this morning, every student is going back to school at Waco high school safely and classes will resume as normal. We will continue to update you on KCENTV.com. Jasmine. Okay, thank you, Meredith. Very scary moment for those students and parents, which is understandable. Thank you.